this, right? You're able to observe it. So once you realize who you are, what you got to do? Step on this side and teach your people. The kingdom of God is within you. You, you, you. Once you wake up and teach your people, the kingdom will come. No more do we have to get gunned down. No more do women have to be raped. No more do we have to hate each other. Y'all got to see that. Stop saying, I want change. Do it. Everybody ain't gonna make it, brother. One third. One third of our people will make it. Two thirds will perish here in Babylon. Don't tell you nothing different, bitch. We are the prophets of the Most High. We're not gonna tell you what you wanna hear. We don't speak smooth words. Right. We're not gonna prophesy blessings. Right. We're gonna tell you, thus saith the Lord. That's right. And that is that if you don't repent, death is coming. Right. Read that. Isaiah 29 and 13. I know you've never, you never heard this before, right? Because guess what? You have been taught this Bible by your brother. That's right. But guess what? In these last days, God is waking up the true men of God to teach his people and bring us back into repentance. Right. Because you are the Israelites. You are the chosen people of God. Read. So they read. So they what? So they read. So they what? So they read. Read. Which thou leaving shall be magnified. So our race will be magnified. That's right. Race is in the Bible, brother. That's right. God is a racist. And we need to wake up out of sleep. Because we're walking around like dead zombies. Read that for me. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cries without. She utters her voice in the streets. That's right. Wisdom is the word of God. You will find us in every corner stitching God's word. That's right. Telling you so-called blacks and Hispanic and Native American that you are uh, uh, from the tribe of from the tribe of Judah, you are Israel. That we need to wake up right. and start keeping God's commandment. Read. Verse 21. She cried in the chief place of concourse. What are those chief places? Bus stop. Section 8. The ghettos. That's where you will find us teaching God's commandment. Right. That's right. Brother, come here, man. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What did you think? What do you think we're here for? That shows you how our people is, man. The moment he hear the word God's commandment, he ran. Right. Hey, guess what? It's in the Bible. Uh, hold that. Give me um, uh, Isaiah 29 and no, give me Isaiah 30. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 10 Went saying to the seers See not And to the prophets no, I just saw from, from nine. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9 That this is a rebellious people God said that Israel is a rebellious people we, lying children, they are liars. They don't like to hear God's word. We, children that will not hear the word of the law. Uh huh. We say to the seers, say to the prophets, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not. They don't want. They don't want us to point out the things that they're doing wrong. So what do they want to hear? They, we speak unto us smooth things. Teach us smooth things like the, the, the pastors are doing. Telling you all you need to do is believe and you'll make it to the heaven. Right. Which is a lie. We're not here for that, brother. We're here to give you the true salvation. Let you know that God loves you. Right. And for you to for you to get that into that kingdom, you need to get right. That's By right. applying God's commandment. Yo, let me ask you a question. What's the nationality according to the Bible? You with the, with, the, with the phone. What is your nationality according? Israel. So you know you're Israel. Come here, come here, man, come here. We're here for you guys. You can still hold your camera, that's fine. So you know you're Israel, right? Give me Deuteronomy um, uh, 10 and 12. Knowing that you're Israel, what do you think God's required from you? Follow his word. Follow his word.
Right. Read that for me first. I, I, I'm, I'm going to ask you another question. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel, what that the Lord thy God require of thee. What God's require from you, which is my question to you. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in his ways, uh -huh. and to love him. That, those are the things that God wants from you. Continue. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and all thy soul. Without holding back. You got to love him all the way. Read. To keep the commandments to of the Lord. Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments. Now you're saying that you believe that you're an Israelite, right? And you know that for you to... What requires from you, once you know you're an Israelite, is keep God's word. Right? That's what you said, right? Now, give me Numbers 15, uh, 15 and 38. I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a, a basic precept that shows you one of the things that not only me will be able to identify you as an Israelite, and also a reminder of God's commandment. Right. Yeah. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. The scriptures say that uh, uh, Israel, they have to, what do they have to do again? Read it again. Speak unto the children of Israel. Tell Moses to speak to the children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Who put fringes in their, in their clothes? What else? Throughout their generations. Is that temporarily or forever? Throughout their generation. Forever. Read. And then they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. On top of the fringe, you put a border of blue. Now, that's an order from God. If we're supposed to obey his word, mean you don't want to follow what he say. Right. Right? Because once you don't follow God's word, what, what do you think going to happen? You don't follow God's word. Yeah. That, you, you're going to die. Give me that in Baruch um, 4, 4 and 1. God's word is important, but we don't know because we don't read. Read that for me. Watch this. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. That's right. Read. All that keep it shall come to life. You hear that? All that keep those laws will come to life. Right. Uh-huh. But such as leave it shall die. And how you think we're going to die? Like today, when you look at around you, what do you find your people? Are, 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 we, are we above all nations or are we in the prime? Huh? Neither? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I'm going to use example. Since we are um, uh, uh, at the... Okay. When you go in French town, what do you see? I don't know. I'm not from there. I'm not from You're not from here. Where do you from? Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay. Doesn't Atlanta have ghetto? Who live in the ghetto? How many of them? I don't know. Are you serious? White people live in the ghetto too. Mexicans live in the ghetto too. Mexicans, uh, so-called Mexicans are also your people. The people that live in the ghetto are the so-called blacks and Hispanics. Bring it out! If you find one or two white, them, this, that's because they were, uh, 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 what's, what's the word, what's the word? They are double losers. Because right. this is their kingdom. They ain't supposed to rule. All they have to do is clean up, put a suit on, they're going for a job, they will get it. As That's opposed right. to you, you are, you're going to be the last to be hired, first to be fired. I'm going to, 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 I'm going What's that? I wish to be rich and famous. You wish to be famous? Rich. Let me ask you this. You don't know your nationality? Yeah. What is it? African American. African American? Yeah. Did you know, uh, can, can you say that you're from two continents? No. You have Africa and you have America. Which one? African American. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Give me a good one, let me tell you what's going on. This is what's going on in our neighborhood. You're not African American, neither are you. You're not African or American. Right. All right? You're from the top of Judah, according to the sign. All right? You were brought here as slaves. I mean, your, your parents, your four, forefathers, they were brought here as slaves. That's right. Uh, do you, have you ever heard of the uh, uh, Atlantic slave trade? 
That legend uh, Clay J, you never heard of that? No. You go to school, brother? Yeah. You do? Yes. Uh, what school you go the slave, to? The slavery? Yes. Yes, I heard about that. You know about slavery? Yes, Coretta Scott. So, who, who, who are those slaves? Like, Martin Luther King, Coretta Scott. So you, you're not I, from those people? No. Yeah. You're not related to them? Yeah. So if their parents were slaves, what make you not? Well, I don't let, my, I don't let their past determine my future. Brother, listen, 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 let me make some sense for you, man. Okay. Um, first of all, what? do you know what they did to your parents? Yeah. Um, give me a bowl, um, three and eight. What do you do every day? I get money. You get money? How do you get money? All different ways. There's a million ways to get it. Like what? I can't go into details and facts and information in detail. No. Uh, you know what? Uh, give me Deuteronomy 20 and 40 and stuff. This is any kind of way he can, he can get it. Give me Deuteronomy 20 and 40. <laughs> the scriptures say that you will serve your enemies to, to find food to eat, clothes to wear, and every necessary. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. You with the Lord, your enemy, oh, with the Lord, shall oh, turn against me, with God will turn against me, and hunger, and in thirst, when you are hungry, and when you are thirsty, read, and in nakedness, and in nakedness, what else? And in want of all things, even selling dope to your own people, that is murder, right. selling stuff to your own people. That's why we are destroyed. That's, That's why, right. Because we don't love ourselves. Self-hatred. Do that again. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. You are doing that just to please your enemy by going against your own people. Right. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. In hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. And in thirst. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Every sort where you need, you gotta go to your enemies. Even those things that you buy in to go sell to your own people. We and in the want of all things. In want of all things, you want birth certificate, death certificate, marriage license, uh 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 a degree you gotta go to your enemies to get it so you can go and and what you call so called prosper in this in this country. We and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who is that he? Your enemy. That's right. The so-called white man. Hey, who put a yoke of iron upon your neck when you were enslaved? We. Until he have destroyed thee. That's the reason why they removed that yoke during slavery. 19, um, 1865. And when, when you have when you have that law that passed, it's because you were already destroyed. There's no point of you having a yoke of iron upon your neck because you're already destroyed. That's Look right. at us. We are well walking around like dead zombies. Don't even want to acknowledge one another. Selling dope to one another, thinking that's cool. Stop coming here throwing sign. You better wake up or the most High God will judge you. That's right. Repeat from your ways. Uh, um, from that, give me uh, um, um, all the community I was asking about. This is our people in a daily manner. We go to work every day. We are still in slave as we speak today. Read. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8 Behold we are yet this day in our captivity The Bible said we are yet this day in our captivity brother Who think that you're not, you're not a slave Yes you are still a slave Read Well thou hast scattered us For a reproach and a curse Yes that's that, that's. Look at your status saying that you're not a slave You can't even You can't even, you can't even help yourself and to be subject to payment, subject to payment, where you you cannot live without buying uh, 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 food from your enemies, water from your enemies, even the place that you stay. You probably live in the section eight. That's what we, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, because of what your forefathers did, and you still doing. The same spirit is back on earth. Shalom.
this. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.